Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Ash in the top lane, showing you how to carry on. It's actually insanely strong. You can set up ganks, win team fights, and she has 600 base auto range. That is longer than most 80 carries in the game, other than Caitlyn at her 650. Standard 80 carry range is 550 or lower. We have Press the Attack, Presence of Mind for Mana, Alacrity, Coup de Grasp, Biscuits Approach with Attack Speed 80 and Health. You don't want to take free boots because you might have to rush tier 2 boots depending on the matchup, which is most matchups. We're gonna auto W, kite him out. Alright, I don't want a ward to hit the press the attack there. It's not quite worth it because Vibe might cheese us. Whenever you play an off meta laner, the odds of you getting camped become substantially higher. So just keep that in mind. We don't want to miss last hits just to hit this guy. Boop. Yeah, I mean, he's Lee Sin. His early game is not going to be the best versus us. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. He's kind of just farming like a Mundo would. The max range Qs. I need to crash this wave. This isn't going to be gankable. Brand has time to do a full clear here. That's the thing as a jungler, you got to look around whenever you're going into gank because things change pretty quickly. This Lee Sin completely forfeited the early game, which is actually the right move when you're playing melee against a ranged matchup like this. Once we have it pushed, we launch our E. And we'll poke this guy down. I see Vi's on her Raptor. She is going to be pathing towards us. Boop. Boop. Got him with the Q. Auto W auto. But a long range, it's easy to float an auto in and run out of turret range. And he's really desperate to get these last hits because my turret's going to scrape these. I'm going to go ahead and hit a potion. Healthier I am, the less likely I am to die to a gank. I have flash ghost as well to survive the gank. Auto QW. We're going to max our W second Q. Or W first Q second E last. Ash builds are extremely versatile. You can kind of go tank. You can just go straight AD carry style. A little bit of both. I find that... Uh, if you're up against a tank top lane or going Bork's your best first item rush, otherwise, looking for something like a Trinity Force into Black Cleaver can be a lot better. Oh, she's so pinched. She's going to look to escape through there. Yeah, she's going to get away. That's all right, though. Oh, what is this Lee Sin doing? <laughs> He's going to lose a lot of CS since already had wave crashed. Akshan is not there. Akshan's not following that at all. I don't know what this Akshan... Akshan's going to get himself killed. Ooh. Alright. I mean, there's not there's nothing to gank here. The Lee Sin's low. He needs to reset, but he doesn't have TP, so he's not going to want to reset. This wave will end up pushing to me. Because it's going to reinforce from his side first. Since it's closer to his turret. Alright, take it, boy. Auto W. Auto, you're just dead. Auto flash. And like I said, this wave's already coming to me here. We'll go ahead and reset. He almost had me. He was fighting me on top of his superior minion wave. He also had red buff advantage. So it was a close limit test for him. First item rush, they're both physical damage. I know it's cringy, but plated is the way to go, guys. They are all physical. As long as I space out the Vigar cage. The only damage that's going to hit me in a team fight is Vyar or Lee Sin queuing to me. The play did makes us take less damage from all auto attacks, including minions, monsters, champions, plus the armor itself. And having tier 2 boots against melee champions is going to let us kite him out. We are going to be going for Trinity Force next into a... Could go Cleaver. I think Terminus is also insanely good. We'll just go Terminus. I've been warming up to it. I used to think the item was absolute crap. I don't know if they buffed it or if I just had more time to explore the item. But I find every time I build it, my power spikes filled absolutely disgusting oh wait the lane swapped his cage is on a cooldown he's dead here if he steps up i have my ghost still i'm gonna go some down auto q auto w he's gonna cage here in a second yep there you go buddy that's the danger about lane swapping. There's probably a reason your teammate wanted to leave that lane. Auto W auto. 
We just had to be patient. Once he had his core thing on a cooldown, we could wait a little bit. Oh, I can go help Bran. Bai is tier 1 boots. Bran is no boots, so she will run him down inevitably here. I'm going to let her get closer into a W auto. We need to run here. I have biscuits. He can't take that. He literally can't. I mean, I have biscuits. I have plated. I'm cutting them off from the, the turret. Are uh, you going to take that, Vi? Oh, this guy out. Got with the W. Oof. Oof! Come on, Auction. Do the meat spin. Oh, where's the Auction da dash? I don't know, but I got roasted. I'll go ahead and pick up a uh, Phage. I took too much damage there. I didn't think they had enough damage to kill me, even if they landed everything, but... Quite simply put, they, they clearly did have enough damage. That wave's already coming to me. I'm on my way. It's already coming. He has clear minion advantage. My can's already almost dead. This scene has very, very little CS, but uh does have two kills. Boop. No, oof, still missed it. I need to thin this out. Don't really want it to crash. After we slow something, our... Subsequent auto attacks will do more damage against it. It's part of the Ash passive. I have to let this crash. I'll just hit it with a W. It's not worth missing the cannon for the sake of saving mana. Oof, almost. Auto W auto. He ward dashes out. That's fine by me. We trade wards there. I still have boots advantage. I'm not really sure where Vi's at. Launch it down river area. We'll scan. The thing is, even if you don't see the enemy jungler, you can kind of figure out where they are based off of where they didn't show up. So she's top side right now. Kind of red Krugs. Most likely. Auto Q reset. Q is a wonderful auto reset on Ash. Buttery smooth. Oh, I should have got closer. It's way easier to last hit when we're close. No clue where this chick actually is. Oh, okay, she's bot side. Auto W auto. Oof. Put some damage on his turret. Yeah, look at that. We need to get that third hit off. There it is. My R wouldn't kill him. I would need like R plus two autos. We don't need to force anything. Have him R flash us underneath the turret while we're taking aggro or something. Let's simply play from our advantage here make him miss two or three waves i get a plate or two as well auto q for the attack speed and nice yeah we get the plate his wave's going to come to me as well it went tight since it's in combat it's going to kill my minions faster as mine string in one at a time so if he even if he roams it'll be advantageous for us Go ahead and get the uh, Heartbound Axe here. If I was up against a tank, I would definitely go for Bork first. Probably Bork into Kraken or Bork into Terminus. But since if it's more of a neutral matchup where they're kind of bursty, a little bruisery, can't go wrong with Trinity Rush. Loads of damage. Black Cleaver is good on us. I'm pretty sure Smolder's mostly physical damage output on like a Kogma, so we'll see. Lee Sin's right here. Right, we'll get him with the W. I'll ghost him down. Get the E in the bush. Don't want him to arm me away. Auto W, auto R. Auto Q, auto. Down he goes. The hawk shot was instrumental. Because if I flash into the bush or run into the bush and he R's me away, I'll never be able to catch up. Makes the hot shot very effective in between autos. funny because when someone picks Lisa in top they probably think they're going to counter your off meta pick not realizing Ash is 
truly challenging to deal with in a solo environment. You need your jungler to set you up for success against Ash because she is she's, she's low mobility, 325 base movement speed. It's partly why you go for the Flash Ghost. Besides the fact that Ghost is overpowered. But Vi doesn't even want to come back here anymore. She's had enough. Oh, he actually landed that auto W auto. He's dead. Yeah, he got spaced out hard. Since we're both ranged characters, neither one of us has to go that deep underneath turret to hit him. Ash is very easy to gank for. We have ranged attacks. We can quickly follow up on the gank and every auto... <laughs> And W slows plus the R stun. Go ahead and launch E. It is manaless. Your Q is a little bit of mana. Your W is a medium amount. And then your E is free. R costs 100. Most ultimates in League, as a rule of thumb, do cost 100 mana. So if you're fighting someone, you see they have 40 mana. Odds are they can't afford their ultimate. I should have let that hit me. I was misplayed by me. Oh, I'm kind of trying to bait it. Whatever, I'll just back off. I'm sitting on a full Trinity Force here. Our comp is pretty bad. We got 380 carries, a brand. Our comp as a whole is quite a bit stronger, so we don't want to throw our lead. From here, I would say Terminus is best. The armor and magic resist still will give us will be incredibly useful. Synergized with our plated steel cap armor to keep us alive. Percent based damage reduction on its passive with. The HP from Trinity Force at 300. Most tank items are around 300 to 400 health. So Trinity Force being a bruiser item giving 300 is kind of like having a tank item all together. Plus we're fast whenever we uh, whenever we attack. We get 20 extra movement speed. See I'm on 20 extra. Instead of 370 I move 390 for 2 seconds at fair auto. Ah, uh, missed a minion. Feels bad. Boop. 145. I'll take it. I think Vi would go top lane here, right? Oxon has Merc Trez. I don't know why he's top right now. We both have the wrong boot type to play against this new matchup. Yeah, we'll just take Carol. It's, it, we'll let Vigar push. I, once he's pushed, we kill him for free. Auto Q auto. Don't really want to use my W against this. I want to save my mana. Looking at the farm, Ezreal's up a bit. I'm up a lot. Our mid's up. Our jungle, the junglers are tied. <laughs> Just like Harold mid right now. Mid turret's almost dead. Mid turret's a big deal to take. All the vision it provides, incredibly useful. Eh, we don't want to lay it now. The turret is full health. It won't even kill if we lay. I'll launch my R. And we hit the morgue. It's like three and a half seconds done from that far away. It's like a, about a quarter of the map. It's a full three and a half, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Ezreal screwed here. <laughs> yeah, I got an assist. Ash R, it damages the first enemy champion hit. And it also does some splash uh, hit and does 400 magic damage to stun duration. I think it's just an AoE slow. Yeah, so the nearby enemies don't get hurt by it, but they are slowed by it. Oh, they take half damage. All right, so it does do AoE damage. I didn't realize that. I knew it was at least a slow. It's half damage AoE. Skadoosh. All right, Vi's here. I'm gonna move away from her a little bit. Nautilus is backing me up. Smolder is... So Smolder wasted my Herald. What the heck? I just took it and used it as a weird escape tool. Thief! I don't have R. Ooh, Vi living with 20 health. Rip. That sucks. 
I'll ghost for this. Missed out on the Vi. They seem to be anywhere. I'm not really chasing him at this point. Boop. Nice. Yeah, there he is. He can't really stop us. We have five grubs. That's a lot of extra damage against turrets. Auto R auto. I thought the black shield would have been over by then. It was still on technically. Pounded a biscuit there. Do not want to step on that soil. The lower on health you are, the more damage the morph soil does. It's not fun to be on when you're low. Almost. She's not taking very much damage from me though. Jeez Louise, that's real chill. Oh, that almost killed. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be that close. Morg is awkwardly tanky. 200 health from Zack Zack. That's ridiculous. Support item is so overloaded. After Terminus, we can start building for our movement speed. Fan Dancer is one of the best movement speed items in the game at 10%. Loads of attack speed. Very useful for Ash. Is our auto attack slow and whatnot? I don't have a hawk. Oh, wait, I do have a hawk shot. Cool. Wherever you. The hawk shot actually expires on, it gives you a lot more vision of that area. It's for five seconds versus just a temporary, like, two second pass through. Uh, I'll launch it there. Boof! Oh, he dodged my R in the weirdest way. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, my teammates caught him. I'll take it. Oh, Vi's over here. Yeah, I'm going to let Nautilus take it for that. Vi spazzed out and R'd me. I, that must have been an accident because obviously she was trying to kill Nautilus there. I don't think anyone could argue otherwise. Yeah, I'll let him go. I'll be the bigger person and turn both my cheeks. Vigar can go after stunning me. Lee Sin, one full item. Vibe, one, one, one. Their whole team's one. Morgana's two full items because support item is broken strong. It's crazy. She's zero, 3 with two full items. Oh, the Raptors aren't going to hit her. They're going to chase me even though she's closer. I miss the good old days when monster AI made sense. When a leash was literally a leash of juggling the monster to whoever is technically closer to it. Back in my day. Farming took skill. Oh, I missed my R. That's the yikes. Oh, that's bad. I am missing everything here I and mean, this guy's really got nowhere to go there you go I got my muscle my muscle came in teach him a lesson brand <laughs> things were getting hairy for me I should have just flashed art into him committed Vigar had to hit me with uh, multiple abilities I should have just committed sooner Time for me to back off and pick up a uh, Terminus and a Phantom. After Phantom, we could look for Terminus, Phantom, I guess Bloodthirster. Round off the Builder, go straight for Infinity Edge. Self-healing isn't that necessary on Ash, just because the long auto attack range is kind of like Caitlyn. Life still isn't essential on Caitlyn either. All right, there's the Terminus. Time for Phantom Dancer. I want to move fast. Vi's pushing the top wave. I'll YOLO my R down mid. I almost never YOLO my R's in a situation like this. Lined it up with the wall. Meow. Clean miss. Feels bad. Can we run down Vi here? She's 385. I'm 385. I do have red buff. She might try to turn on me. Jute. 
Auto Q auto, auto W. Yeah, she she knows she just has to turn. That is the tricky thing about Ash. I could have kept kiting backwards, but just to make sure, like she was gonna flash dash away, I wanted to stay on top. So I wasn't gonna keep retreating from that point because I figured I could stand there and turret mode her since I've already built up an HP lead. Auto Q auto. Cost me a ghost to do it though. That put all the pressure on her. She felt like she couldn't escape through my slow red buff, slow and ghost. They're kind of catching back. We have very little bounty gold still on our team. They've already killed us and collected the, the, the bounties. Wanted dead or alive and they always take you dead. Nice. Way more CS than Lee Sin. Ash top similar to Vayne top. The only real difference is Ash has built in wave clear, but she's a little less mobile because Vayne has a tumble. Ash doesn't. She's really no baked in mobility. The condemns also arguably better for escaping since it pushes them away from where you are. Oh, that hit. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm a goner. At least I did a flashy combo. Brand drops his load. Is it enough? They have lots of self healing. I guess it's mainly just the vice hundred. <laughs> Smolder doing some stuff. Oh, almost got it. I got caught out. I really didn't think that Mork Snare was going to hit. She moved the tip. Octron doesn't want to group. Why group when you have almost half the team kills? That'd be silly, right? To have a guaranteed way of winning team fights, that'd be too, too straightforward, I think. So we have 5%, 5 and 4%. So we're already at 9 out of the 10 for Phantom. Moving 403 after Phantom Dancer. Mm, I'm not sure. After Phantom Dancer. Could go Black Cleaver. Could go Bloodthirster Infinity. And one good thing about Bloodthirster is with how it gives you extra attack damage, it's set up for you to really build like around level 15 and later. It gives you so much extra AD. Uh, I was going to launch R. It's just a weird spot there. How close they are to that plant. Like it would have got gone wasted. I need to stack up my Q passive. So I can Q these kids. They're not even contesting this. They're just straight up giving it. Ooh, I take it back. Down you go. Can't really see anything. Line it up, baby. Got her in midair from downtown. I was going to flash it, but I think my teammates got it. Nice. Yeah, she's a goner. I love Terminus. This item's so good. It shreds. <laughs> it shreds hard. It gives you arm penetration, magic penetration. Gives us it gives us armor, magic resist. You can kind of, it, it's effectively the same as you stealing their armor or magic resist. It's very similar to that effect. The only difference is it doesn't shred their armor for your teammates to do more damage against them. It only shreds their armor for you to do more damage against. Auto W auto, auto Q auto. I'm tanky boy! Terminus stats. Oh, good lord. Woo! Scared myself there. Auto Q auto, and that is why you can't chase Ash. It just doesn't work. You gotta have some kind of big dash. My goodness. Why wants us bad? Lethal Tempo is good on Ash. Lethal Tempo has been nerfed so much that it's no longer a rune where you can just objectively take it every game and expect to get better results. As a whole, press the attack is much easier to pilot. And it's more consistent value in lane phase because if they if they are smart with how they position, you can never really full stack lethal tempo and shred into them. 
to where the press the attack on the other hand you'll, there will be plenty of opportunities for you to get off three autos right versus full stack lethal tempoing with six autos plus in a team fight environment you apply press the attack you and your allies do eight percent increased damage against them for six seconds or you and all sources of damage do increased damage against them for all for six seconds so a bear and a dragon your minions whatever everything they're gonna take more damage from everything so you press the attack is uh as a whole more consistent like i said much easier to pilot so if you struggle with kiting lethal tempo might not be the room for you i don't want to r her she has black shield she reacts to my r only reason i r her last time is because she was in midair and i figured she might First of all, I guess if she's in mid or on plant, she probably can't use abilities anyways because she's displaced. Line it up with the wall, all right? Easy peasy. W E. I have a tremendous full stack. Even if she goes in on me there, I'm gonna be hella tanky. I also have the plated armor, the Trinity Health. Oh yeah, they're all just dashing away. We get free red buff. We could probably take inhib here. Auction's refusing to group. This guy's clearly like winning is not. His primary objective. He's clearly trying to get some KDA pad or something. At this point, it's just as simple as a group and end. You don't never really want to be split push on Ash past the early game. So once you lose your turret or the enemy laner loses their turret, if you stay in that lane, you'll get ganked by everyone on the map. And Ash's mo defensive mobility is so incredibly low that two or more people come for you. Probably gonna die. Can I get anything good? I can get BF Sword. <clears throat> Not bad. Stand at 275 AD, a bunch of attack speed, some haste off of Trinity Force. I guess we have blue buff as well. Oh, she gonna have a black shield in time? Let's see. Oh yeah, she did. Not only did she juke it, but she also black shielded it. Well played to her. A little bit of forward vision on the minions to give her a larger window to react, but still. Nautilus going in deep. Can't get the turret with the empowered one. He sits back too far. Ooh, the Nautilus hook. I'm gonna just bang it down. Auto W auto. Got my Q stacked. Vi split pushing, she's gonna solo lose the game. As long as none of us are back to fight her, I mean. Auto R auto. Vigar flashed away, but it just doesn't matter. Oh, come on, baby. Someone hit that guy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we couldn't finish him off. He's pretty low. He's going to sit back. He doesn't want to die. Oh, never mind. He wanted to die. All right, we'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and, of course, runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the second most in the game behind Auction. I'm a little surprised we have damage to the brand there. Not bad. Damage taken, middle of the pack. For Wait, I guess we'll look at self-mitigated. It's not going to be that high, I don't think. Self-mitigated. Yeah, we really weren't that high in self-mitigation. Pretty much tied with everyone else in the Nautilus. Vi were high with their shield spams. If a is high value, all in all, Ash is hecka solid if you position properly and you kind of understand how to kite. If you enjoyed this Ash video, let me know what champion you guys want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.